here you can see the leaflets are directly attached to the rachis for example in neem uh, here the rachis and branched and the leaflet are uh, attached to the secondary rachis for example gulmohar here the leaflets are attached to the tertiary rachis that is the moringa a uh, drumstick uh, tree and if we see the leaflets are in pairs and the leaf end with the two leaflets for example tamarind and uh, this is example uh, in tamarind it is peripinnately leaf and uh, in moringa it is tripinnately leaf the imperipinnately leaf are the leaves with end with a single terminal leaflet for example rose these are some of the example of plant with pinnately compound leaf now the leaflet are called as pinna are attached to the rachis in the pair of alternate each leaflet has its own stalk petiolar or maybe sessile the rachis may be terminal in the single leaflet or in appendages unlike a simple leaf a pinnately compound leaf have multiple leaflet but function as a single unit a pinnately compound leaf is a type of compound leaf in which a leaf blade is divided into multiple leaflets arranged on either side of a common central axis it is it is known as the rachis and it resembles a feather in its arrangement thanks for watching do like share and subscribe